former trade minister in the Muhammad administration, Ekos Gabra, says the NDC put up more than 1,000 factories while in office. In an exclusive interview with TV3, he disputed the number of factories the NPP government has put up under its one district, one factory policy. In May 2019, Trade Minister Alan Kojo Tramantin announced that out of 181 one district, one factory project under implementation, 52 were existing ones, while 129 were entirely new. 56% of them, he said, were into agro processing and 22 into primary agriculture, a claim his predecessor has rejected vehemently. The only thing that may seem to be new are the factories of individual businessmen entrepreneurs, not factories with one city or ten pesos of government equity. Somebody has built his own factory, you go and put the national flag or MPP flag around it and call it one district, one factory. That's all, that's the only thing that is new. Dr. Ecospio Gabra, under whose leadership the Commander Sugar Factory was revamped, said the NDC has an enviable record in putting up factories. And those things are not projects begun by the government themselves. You don't see it as anything they have to brag about as in but the one district, one factory? It's a matter of bragging. We could have bragged about 1,000 factories. About one, more than 1,000 factories were created during the last Miami administration through the National Board for Small Scale Industries, through the what became the Export Import Bank, which used to be the Agricultural and uh, uh, Export Development Fund. You know, so we had, and then the private enterprises, the mass lock, etc. We're all giving loans to different people for different projects. Meanwhile, Dr. Echo Spiel Gabra has described as unjustified calls for the NDC's presidential candidate to name his running mate by the opposition. No, I mean, the Electoral Commission doesn't ask political parties to submit running mate names until sometime in August or September of an election year. So there's no hurry. We are well ahead of time. But the extent of his support, I think, was demonstrated during the flag bearership race. And the fact that he is the only one in the NDC who has been a president before and who is still eligible to be president. Who should be the running mate of uh, JM? Well, I think he will, he will decide that at the right time. He has many people he can choose from, more than 20 very, very well qualified Qualities? people. So I think people who, will, anybody that can help him win the elections, which includes collecting votes, includes persuading people, includes helping him to raise funds, includes giving his, his leadership the credibility that may be needed to win votes. Will you accept that honor if Daniel? That is a statement that will come when the president is ready.